Justin Norton up here at Baseball Rebellion. I'm looking at Roy Holiday and Greg Maddox here. I'm doing an article on Roy Holiday, and we're talking about is Roy Holiday fine? His last outing, there was a definite dip in his velocity, uh, raising some concern. And after 2012, where he struggled with some injuries and, you know, just kind of a prolonged season where he was never up to his elite status, uh, we want to kind of document a few positions here. And I have him paired up with Greg Maddox, who I just think is a great example of sustainable longevity and a person who was able to perform at a high level for a number of years. Uh, so the first thing I want to show you here is just as both Maddox and Holiday are about to get ready to open the hips and deliver the baseball, um, let's look at the angle here of the hand, the elbow, and the shoulder. And what I want you to take notice of is how Maddox, his hand is still facing towards it would be like third base where Holiday's hand has already started to come towards second. So why is this important? Well, right before the hips open, we would still want the hand to be facing towards third uh, to promote relaxation of the entire arm. So as the hips do open, the hand can freely um, lay back to its cocking phase behind the center of the body. Okay, so this is going to allow for... Um, more arm speed into the throw and allow for the arm to properly lay back um, behind the midline of the body. So you can kind of see how the difference here right about as a throw. Now as we go to the second frame, okay, you can kind of see here as Maddox is going into his throw compared to Holiday, you can see where Holiday's front shoulder is starting to bar open a little bit. So what's happening is he's starting to let the shoulders rotate horizontally across, which overall is going to allow his external rotation to happen more outside of his body. So we call this kind of like thoracic extension. And what you can see from Maddox here is we kind of draw a line from the back of his neck down to the bottom of his spine. You can kind of see that he's at a, a backwards angle here. And so the thoracic extension is happening as he's going into his throw. So you can kind of see this curvature in his spine here. And if we look at Holiday, we take from his neck down to the back of his spine. He's kind of exhibiting a good posture, but he's slightly forward compared to Maddox here. And what this allows for is the thoracic extension to the throw is just for more trunk rotation. So as the arm is being pulled through, it's going to be supported by more of the torso and more of the mass into the throw. So as we go into the next frame, which is really the key frame and how this all kind of takes shape, is we can see here the degree to which the external rotation is happening. So if you look at these angles here, here's the hand, here's the elbow, shoulder, Okay, you can definitely see how Holiday's hand is laying down in this external rotation more behind the elbow joint and more outside of the body compared to that of Maddox. So here's Maddox's hand, and you can see, you know, his hand here is definitely laying down towards the center of his body here. And with Holiday, let's say his hand's probably about right here. Center of his body is here. Okay, so there's definitely a difference there. And over the course of a game, of a season, um, the amount of throws, this definitely is going to add more stress, more fatigue directly to the shoulder joint. A good way to explain it is if you know you were holding, let's say, a 15, 20 pound weight, would you rather hold it like directly above your head or would you want to hold it? outside of your body, maybe somewhere around here where Holidays is. Okay, I'm pretty sure you want to pick Maddox here to where he supported, you know, through his scaps, through his lats, through his hips, down into his glutes um, to allow him to be structurally supported into his throat. Now, if we go to into release, and this is also an important aspect, because Maddox has already gone down into his thoracic thoracic extension, allowing for the trunk rotation, you can see as the ball is out there, 
the difference in how much of Maddox's torso is coming down into the throw compared to that of Holiday. So Holiday is very upright. You can see his head drifting away from his arm a little bit here. There's a little bit of curvature here in the spine. Um, and Maddox, you know, obviously his chest is getting out over his knee. He's really driving the ball down. Okay, and what the, the biggest thing here is as the arm continues, you want to allow the arm to decelerate back into the body. You can see as the ball comes out here, Maddox is still staying down and through it, allowing for his back and his hips and his core to decelerate. Here, Holiday, as the ball comes out, that's really the extent of his deceleration. So what happens is the ball comes out, release, and his posterior capsule of his shoulder here, right back here, really has to work hard to slow that arm down. He's just very upright and putting you know, a higher degree of stress on his shoulder. And you know, over the course of time, this is going to wear down. Now, Holiday himself is a big guy, so he probably can sustain more. But as you see, at 35 years old, his velocity, his velocity has dipped over the course of the last three years, and this may be an indicator. Uh, thanks for listening. It's Justin Orndorff with Baseball Rebellion.